Now for more on Egypt, where the head of the ruling military council, as Michael just mentioned, has addressed the Egyptian nation. Field Marshal Mohammed Hussein Tantawi says elections will be held by mid-2012 and that the army's loyalty lies with the Egyptian people and not a particular political party. The uh, uh, Supreme Council of the Armed Forces is only interested in the uh, interests of the people. We don't care about who will win the elections and who is going to be the next president. It's up to the people to decide. And we cannot accept anything saying that the scarf is delaying the handover of power to a civil uh, authority. We had that time uh, table according to the referendum of the 19th of March. And we have said several times we have have equal approach towards every single uh, party in Egypt. We are not biased. We are impartial. Mohammed Tantawi there. Our Middle East correspondent Michael Vincent joins us now on the phone from Cairo. Michael, good morning. Firstly, exactly where are you? Hi, Michael. I'm standing on a balcony of the hotel. I'm staying at above Tahrir Square. I can see three quarters of the square from where I am. And Field Marshal Tantawi's uh, concessions today, tonight, have done absolutely nothing to placate this crowd below me. We were down there earlier amongst them, and when the announcement was made, no one moved. There was going out. Urkhal, uh, Urkhal, leave, leave. Uh, it, it's kind of hard to believe Field Marshal thought that hanging out there, the idea of uh, holding a referendum, uh, if people wanted it, uh, for the military to leave straight away was something that would placate them. It's something that these people in the square have been calling for for the past several days. They want the military to hand over to civilian power now. They don't want them to hang on to power anymore. Because they do fear, don't they, Michael, that uh, even this six-month delay, if the military holds true to its promise to hold those presidential elections in June, could give them yet more opportunities to cement their power. Well, you can hear the... Uh, I'm sorry, Michael, I didn't quite hear the question there, but look, you can hear the ambulances still below me. They have been going in and out. I can see 50 of them lined up to go in. The violence has not stopped. There are young men throwing themselves uh, into the fight, taking up the fight against the police on the other side of the square. The ambulances have been streaming in all night. They've been carrying the wounded out. They've been carrying the incapacitated out. We've seen the effect of the tear gas. It's quite extraordinary. Young men, their heads absolutely lolling uh, about as they've been carried out motionless by their, uh, by their friends. It's quite extraordinary scenes. The violence, the anger is not ending, and the military appears to have done nothing tonight uh, to placate this crowd of mostly secular people. The Muslim Brotherhood has not called their people out tonight, so the hundreds and thousands that gathered here in Tahrir Square are secular, and they do not want the military longer. Uh, Michael, is there a, c a concerted effort by authorities to move into those demonstrators and try to clear the square, or from what you've seen, is it more isolated instances of violence? It's, uh, it's very... It, it's quite strange. It's quite eerie. Down one street where the military, the military police are, uh, there is uh, a, a street completely empty, and the stones are, are in, it's not, no, it's waiting to be thrown. No one is throwing them because the... Uh, the young protesters say, the military police are not fighting us, we will not fight them. One block away, the local police are throwing tear gas regularly. You can hear the thumping of the tear gas rounds going out and the, uh, the, the, the rocks and the anger. Uh, this is closer to the Interior Ministry. This is the reason they say that the fighting is still going on, because young men are trying to go to the Interior Ministry. It's not quite clear why half a kilometre away from the Ministry the, uh, the, the police think they have the need to, uh, to fire on the protesters. But the tear gas is certainly wafting in. Uh, you can taste it on your tongue, feel it in your eyes when you're walking around the square, half a kilometre, a kilometre away from, uh, from where this is, uh, the fighting is actually taking place. Most of the people in the square have gas masks. Most of the people uh, are, are getting gas masks for free or paying a small amount of money for them. So they're not moved by the fact that the, the violence is nearby. They're not moved by the army's words of concession tonight. Uh, this is now into its uh, fourth night and looks certain to head into a fifth day, Michael. Yeah, tense days and hours ahead. Michael Vincent in Cairo, thank you very much for the update. You're welcome.